Welcome back to the show, Pinoy Crossover here. Uh, joining us is our special guest, Coach Mike. You've seen him before. He's back <laughs> with us again to talk about basketball, about the Philippine tournaments, about the Malaysia tournament that he was a part of. So thank you for being here again, Coach Mike. Of course, my pleasure. And thank you very much again for having me. Mm. And, you know, there's a lot of things that happened uh, that Coach Mike uh, was a part of so far in this in the year. They just came back from Malaysia. Well, it's not really that recent. They came <laughs> so, back. It was it January you guys uh, came back or December? December. December. So just talk about the results of Malaysia uh, and then the team. How did they do? Well, Malaysia is a very good experience for the kids. Mm -hmm. you know? So we took Malaysia tournament. We got invited to play for the fifth MVP. MVP Cup mm. International High School Basketball Tournament. So, so we went there 16 under the age group is different. 16 are born kids mm. born in 2001. Mm -hmm. So it was a good experience, and of course we won. Yeah. yeah. So in the finals we we beat Mali uh, we beat Australia. <laughs> mm. So they're a very good team. They're defending champions, and fortunately for the kids, they were able to uh, uh, stand up with the challenge and and won the championship. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. cool thing about the NBTC is that. While you guys were playing, on they have a good social media presence. They had yes. good videos that they did, high quality videos. Yeah, yeah. we were able to um, uh, borrow them. from them. We actually asked them permission to use it, and mm -hmm. they were very welcome to use it. And there was many teams. Like there's different days you guys played. Um, before that championship game, it did seem that you guys kind of swept all the competition. <laughs> but what was it really like? Was it was it hard for them? Was the was it was it too hot? Were they used to everything, or like did they just really perform well? Uh, on the first few days, of course, we need to adjust because of the weather. Mm -hmm. there were, it was really too hot for the kids, you know. I mean, coming from a winter time, mm -hmm. going there in Australia, oh. humid and very hot. So <laughs> yeah. it was, there was a big adjustment, right? Yeah. But fortunately, the skills of the kids here are much, much, I can say there's a big difference or big gap mm -hmm. between the skills. Uh, when we went there, there, I think there were only three good teams that are really mm -hmm. up par with the skills. The, the, the one from... Uh, from Australia, which they're defending champion. Yeah. There's two in uh, from from Malaysia, mm. but fortunately, I guess because of the first few games that we had, wherein we were ramping on the mm. opponent. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we faced when we faced the, that good team from Malaysia, they yeah. were pretty scared. Yeah. So we were able to win our semis, and then and again Australia. Mm -hmm. That's that's really the big challenge because they're much taller. Mm -hmm. Than, than our team and mm -hmm. they're the defending champions, right? So they wouldn't just go away and give us the title. Yeah. So mm -hmm. fortunately for the kids, as I said, you know, they came up with a, we came up with a nice game plan and uh, mm -hmm. we, we, the kids exec executed it properly and we won, we, we won the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, my question is, bago, bago kayo pumunta sa, sa tournament, ano yung ginawa mong pano, preparation na binigay mo sa mga bata? What kind of practice na uh, do you put them through para mag, you know, well prepared sila bago pumunta sa tournament? So basically when we, we I think we received the invite sometime in June. Mm -hmm. So we had a very good time to really practice. So we practice at least twice a week or three times a week mm -hmm. with the help of Coach Rod. Mm -hmm. By the way, I didn't coach the team. It's mm -hmm. Coach Rod who, who coached the team. Mm -hmm. you know? So I was like sort of a team manager at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just help out each other. But it was really Coach Rod who really uh, mm -hmm. coached the team. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's basically that's, that, that's the only uh, preparation that we did. Uh, I think we had some few scrimmages. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's it. So I remember when I showed you the score that one time, you were like, wow, yeah. they're putting up 100. Yeah. They're putting, so the first game where you scored 100, or like the couple of games you scored 100, did other, were other teams scared? Did some coach come up? Did some coaches come up to you? And there was another Filipino team there yes. as well. Yes. Did they come the up Philippines to you guys? Team, yeah, yeah the, Philipp the, the Dreamers, right? They're the Dreamers, too. the Dreamers. Did anyone say anything to you guys before you guys went to the championship? Because... If I was there playing a team that scores 100 on us... Or well, it was just, just 100. Yeah. It was 120, 140, that you guys... 130. I think the highest score we had was 140. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 140. Okay. And the thing is, it's not just like you would just say it. It's, yeah. it's on, it's on yeah, yeah. video, too. It's on record, so yeah, for sure. Did anyone approach you about like, oh, your skids are so talented? Did anyone uh, compliment you guys? Yeah, everybody was really surprised mm. the way we played, you know. And uh, of course, there were... Not only surprised, of course, they they really loved us because even though we're we're really that good, we're really that humble. So 
that's the thing that they like us very much. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, we're winning games that much, but we're really very humble. You know, we appreciate the efforts of the other team, mm-hmm. so uh, we thank them also for being able to to play with us. Yeah. And um, yes, most of the coaches are really impressed <laughs> with the way yeah. we with the way the kids had had played mm-hmm. yeah. at that time. So, what kind of what kind of experience do you think the kids got from you know playing playing in tournaments in Canada compared to playing in tournaments? whether it be outside the country, in the U.S., and compared, compared to playing in, in Asia? Mm. So basically, the reason why we took that Malaysia tournament is because, it's the, as I said, it's, it's, it's another way of us preparing for the NBTC. Mm-hmm. Because that's the major tournament that we, that we really wanted to, to play on. So we took up the Malaysia tournament because, first, we knew, or I knew, that if we will win in Malaysia, it will it'll create so much noise back home in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? Because there's a Philippine team there. Yeah. So and it's, it's and, and and I was right, you know. When we won, we won, we won in Malaysia. Coaches in the Philippines, even the Batangilas, texted me. Really? Oh, Coach Mike, those sixteen-year-old boys, do they have passports already? <laughs> <laughs> so make sure that they have this yeah. Philippine passport. Yeah. Right? And at the same time, one of the coach, Coach Bo from UP, came here mm. just recently yeah. to see those boys. Yeah. So that's 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 the main reason why we took Malaysia. And one thing more is we wanted to show the kids the uh, the weather yeah. Yeah. in Malaysia. Because the weather in Malaysia and the weather in the Philippines are kind almost of the same, almost yes. same, right? Yeah. So uh, we were thinking that if we go to Malaysia, they'll be able to see or experience the weather, how hot it is. Then yeah. they would have an idea come 2019 that this is, this is the weather that they're going to face. Because these kids that we brought to Malaysia are the kids that were preparing for 2019 NBTC. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. So that's the reason why. So this year, because those 2,000 kids are very special too. Mm-hmm. So Coach Rod and I are, are talked about it and we thought that it's, easier, it's better for us to prepare early for 2019. Right. Yeah. So that come 2019, they'll be much prepared. Mm-hmm. They have seen the weather. They have mm-hmm. seen some of the competition. You know they have good exposures already, so uh, playing outside uh, outside of Canada, which yeah. is the first, right? Mm-hmm. So, so that's the main reason why we took up Malaysia. So it's like all that experience, and then experience, all they need yes. to do is basically execute on the hardwood mm-hmm. and actually win that tournament. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the team in general. Who stood out as um, as your pl- as the tournament went by? Who was your most important role players? Who stood out? Who surprised you as a player? And who? And you said Coach Bo came as well. Yes. What what players did he like looking at, and who who had skills that could be potential that we should be paying attention to? Uh, one thing that was really surprising to us, and you know, when we placed our first game, mm. the president of the Malaysian Basketball talked to me already. Mm. Denzel Paraon will be the MVP. Mm. He called it mm. from the start. From the from start. The mm-hmm. Who's wow. number twenty-two? Yeah. Oh, number 20, it's, it's Denzel Faraon. Yeah. He will be the MVP of this tournament. Wow. wow. And indeed, you know, Denzel Faraon really stood up among, <laughs> among players. He yeah. was really, really good, very... It's not as surprising to us because we used to coach him. And we, <laughs> yeah, you know, I know, I know, him, right? So we can see like, yeah. how skilled he is. So yeah. Denzel Faraon was really first, first hand choice. Yeah. First day. Yeah. Everybody wow. was talking already. Yeah. Denzel Faraon will be the MVP. Mm. Another yeah. kid was really, uh, I mean, of course, not surprising, mm. it's Tyler. Yeah. Tyler is known here as someone who can shoot from the outside, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Tyler also was, was very instrumental on our win. Mm-hmm. Of course, we have role players like Justin Reyes, yeah. who did the, uh, you could say, uh, the hard work for defense on, mm-hmm. our, on, on, on Crossover Canada, right? Yeah. Then we also have Jan Andrada. Mm-hmm. I, I think most of the players has contributed very yeah. well, mm-hmm. especially on the championship. Because what's so good with this 2001 team is they really play as a team. They yeah. don't care who score much, who mm-hmm. score less, yeah. who, who, but everybody just contributed and played as a team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it was very evident though, the championship game, that the size difference. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, like, they played um, yeah, yeah. a team that was much taller than them. And much they, taller. I think the average height is around 6'3". Yeah, <laughs> and everyone on Crossover Canada was like, yeah, we were just on five eleven. <laughs> <laughs> but I think but, it was great watching them, like you know, 
was that they were all all of them were so skilled and, and interchangeable. All of them can either handle yes. the ball mm -hmm. or or uh, take it to the uh, take it to the basket or shoot or run the fast break, and mm -hmm. that's what's been you know great to see from the team. It, it wasn't just one player playing a certain role; it was all of them yes, playing that's interchangeable. Right. That's so, Mike, here's the question I have. Next year, Malaysia, back-to-back -back champions? Uh, yes, we're hoping to be back-to-back champions. -back. Actually, there will still be a change in, oh, okay. in, uh, in, uh, in the month, you know. Instead oh. of playing in December, it will yeah. not be in June. Oh, oh. so they changed So, it we're too. hoping that they're okay. going to do it at the end of June, June because yeah. June is... Oh, a exam, ex no, exam, 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 yeah. oh, right. oh, okay. exam, exam one, right? Yeah. So, sure, sure. You know, first week of July, but... We're still waiting for the final uh, schedule, but they already informed me that come that there'll be a change in month. Mm. Okay. Hopefully, it's July. All right. Okay.